to my channel so I'm doing this video after quite a long time and I wanted it to be a little bit different so this DIY has been on my mind for quite a long time now and I thought that since festivals are coming up this is just the right time to do this DIY so you must have seen these sandals on quite a lot of celebrities like Alabat, Waritin, Badriyat Ki Duranya and Parmiti was seen wearing one from Lulu and Sky I might just uh, put up a picture here or here guys so I was really wanting to have one in my wardrobe for quite a long time now so I already had these plain tie up sandals lying around in my cupboard and I thought these can be DIY'd into the pom pom sandals so without further ado let's get started and get into the video you need basic gladiators tie ups or any kind of footwear pom poms a colorful fancy lace beads Kungaroos, charms and shells, jump rings, silk thread, thread and needle, pliers and hot glue. So let's get into the procedure. So first I am trying out my tie up gladiators so that the ties open up and I know how the fit is so as to proceed further to begin I have used this colorful lace and using the hot glue I am going to paste it around the straps at the back You can use any lace, there are so many options, you also have pom pom laces available in the market, you can go ahead and use that as well. Now depending upon your tie up footwear, decide where else you can use that lace. I am going to use it at these loops, however if you have loops at the toe, you can stick the lace over there. Once you are done with the lace, next up is pom poms which also happens to be the quick and the fun part. So start gluing down the pom poms with the hot glue at the straps. Coordinate the colors in your head and stick them all over. There is no fixed pattern, just do the way you want. Now to jazz up the footwear, we are going to use some random charms, beads and shells. So for this one, I am going to use a green and a golden colored bead and this shell and make some basic stitches and for this I am taking a needle and thread. Make sure that the thread is of the color of the footwear or the closest. So now just start sewing the beads at your desired places. Make some basic stitches and the knot at the end.
for the next one I'm going to use a jump ring and three colored beads open the jump ring using the pliers and put the beads into the jump ring one by one close the jump ring and then sew it to the footwear just the same way Now I am adding a charm near this pom pom. The procedure is just the same. So attach a lot many of such charms, beads, whatever you have to the footwear to jazz it up and make it look even more prettier and colourful. You don't have to be perfect, you just have to use whatever is available with you and make it look as bohemian as possible. Once you are happy with this, just proceed further. Next is to prepare tassels. Now to make tassels, I need a silk thread and some rectangular object. I am using this box because I am a lazy person to find a cardboard. So you may use a piece of cardboard. So yeah, just start rolling the thread around the object and wrap it around it and continue till you are satisfied with the volume. Next, remove the thread from the object and then pass a thread from the loop so as to make a string to hang the tassel. So you will see something like this and after that just cut the ends so as to make the tassel and trim the excess and make it just even next I am tying another thread leaving some part from the top finally your tassel will look something like this I am using two pink and two yellow tassels. You may use all four of the same color. Now I really disliked the tassels that came with the footwear and I went ahead and cut it off. Next we are going to attach the tassels that we just made to our footwear. So I am going to just pass the tie up from the loop of the string of the tassel that we just made and then make a simple knot. Make sure that your knot is nice and tight. I have attached one pink and one yellow tassel each to the tie ups. Next, I am going to sew a golden bead and two shells at the knot to hide the knot and also it will make the tassel attachment a little bit stronger.
so yeah this is how the ends of the tie ups are supposed to look and this is the final look of our footwear i think they have quite matched up to the expectations and look how colorful bohemian and cute are they so hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did do not forget to hit that like button also subscribe to my channel guys if you haven't yet and do not forget to hit that bell icon just beside the subscribe button so you get notified each time i upload a video and yeah that's all for today's video stay healthy stay positive and spread lots of love so i'll see you guys in the next video till then bye